there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram, where I also talk about perfume. It's slightly different content, but it's a lot of fun, and it'll be linked below. Today, I've got a perfume haul for you. So I've got a few things here that I'm pretty excited about. I've got some niche and some celebrity and some designer. So something for everyone. I'm gonna start out with something I picked up at Marshall's. This is Dot from Marc Jacobs. And <laughs> I think this bottle is really fun. So I couldn't resist getting this because I know it's a little bit hard to find. It is currently on fragrancebuy.ca, but it's like $80. So I got this for 40 at Marshall's and it's going to my daughter, she really likes it. And it smells like a very typical Marc Jacobs perfume, similar to the Daisy line, and it's really pretty. It's a nice floral fruity, um, this is a 3.4 ounce. <laughs> it's so extra, but I, I do think it's cute. So, and my daughter's pretty excited to have it. So that's Dot. Have you tried this one? I would love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments. I have the one from this collection that's called Violet. And my other daughter has the one that's called Honey. I think they're nice. I just think they're, um, they don't have super great lasting power. And to me, they smell like a lot of other Marc Jacobs perfumes from Daisy and from this line. So they're not bad, but they're just not exactly my thing. Um, I would certainly wear it, but my daughter's much more excited about it than I am. It's so cute. It's so cute and weird though. So that's Dot. I think it's supposed to I get confused if it's supposed to be a ladybug or a butterfly. It kind of gives me both. But anyway, it's it's fun. So dot. This one I got on Mercari. This is from Gwen Stefani and it's called Lamb or L. And this was recommended by my friend Richard Keycott from the channel of the same name. I will link his channel below. Be sure to go subscribe to Richard and check out his videos. He does great videos. And this is really pretty. I really like it. It was new in the box with the wrapper and everything. So it looks like that. It's a 1.7 ounce, really beautiful floral with some fruits almost like, I'm not sure if there's a honey note in here. I feel like I'm getting honey. It's really gorgeous. So thanks for this recommendation, Richard. I'm really, really liking this. And I can think of some things to layer it with. I saw a few different ones on Mercari, but this was the best deal. And like I said, it was still in the wrapper. And so that was pretty cool. Then I've got Ariana Grande, God is a Woman, which is a really nice perfume. I actually do like this. I did a TikTok on this, which you can see on TikTok or Instagram. And, you know, it's kind of a plain-ish bottle. Um, it's got this weird Flintstones casing thing. <laughs> Just reminds me of the Flintstones. I don't know why, but it's a pretty perfume. I like it. Um, it smells very Ariana Grande to me. It's very floral fruity, nice. Um, nothing earth shattering or groundbreaking, but it's pretty. And this one is also going to my daughter because um, I don't think I'll probably be wearing this probably just not something that I would reach for so and my daughter really likes it too so this one's going to her and it's nice and like I said check out my Instagram or TikTok if you're interested in my first impressions and my smell test it's a good perfume it's got nice notes it smells um pleasant and I've got a couple fragrance net orders so the first one I had Euphoria Gold which I talked about in my flankers that jumped the shark video which I'll put up in the cards if you're interested and this is really pretty this was a recommendation from Paulina Shar, who I'll link, I will link down below so this is my first Euphoria from Calvin Klein and it's very gorgeous it's like it's ambery it definitely reminds me of something like maybe poison like this could be related to poison or one of the poison flankers so it smells a little derivative to me, but not bad. I think it's very pretty. And um, this will be a nice one for fall and winter. It smells very strong. It's ambery, floral, amber. It's pretty. So, um, so yeah, have you tried anything from Euphoria line from Calvin Klein? I'd be interested. What's your favorite from Euphoria? I would love to hear, but I like this same order I got Elixir Sublime from Lolita Lempica so this is my first Lolita Lempica in a long time and thank you to Tara from Olfactophiles for letting me know that this was up on FragranceNet because I was really excited to get my hands on this one I think the bottle is beautiful it's a fairly new one I think it came out in 2018 it's really pretty I think it might be a little redundant in my collection because I have so many from this house so this smells a little bit like the Midnight Line and a little bit like Lolita Lempica Le Parfum. Definitely got the house DNA. It's very pretty. I think the bottle is really cool. 
This is the first one I have from the house since they kind of redesigned the packaging into this sort of angular geometric design. All the ones I have have the rounded edges. So this is my first one that has this new packaging design and I think it's really cool. Although I like the old packaging too. So it's very pretty. Um, it smells like some of the other Lolita Lampicas that I have, but I'm happy to have it. So thank you Tara for letting me know that this was up on FragranceNet because I am happy to have this. In another FragranceNet order, I got Jennifer Lopez Still. This is a favorite of my friend Veronica from the channel Veronica Says. I will link Veronica's channel below too, as well as Tara's and Paulina's. And this is really pretty. So this is one of Veronica's favorites and I can see why it's really nice. This is a really nice citrus. I can see layering this with like a Bath and Body Works sun wash citrus or grapefruit frosé or something very citrusy. So it's really pretty, sort of a nice easy reach for spring and summer. Jennifer Lopez still nice and pretty bottle I think too. In that same order I picked up Bottega Veneta. This is the original Bottega Veneta which I've kind of been, I've had my eye on this one for a long time and it's really, it's really really pretty. This is like perfect for fall and winter. It's ambery. It's gorgeous. It's spicy. Um, I'm really looking forward to wearing this. This one strikes me as very gender neutral. It's, um, it's such a beautiful bottle too. It's got like this frosted patterned bottom. Mm, I really like this. It kind of reminds me very slightly of Francesco Bianchi's Sticky Fingers. Like this is like a muted down. This is like a slightly less patchouli, a little more wearable kind of an everyday version of Sticky Fingers. I personally love Sticky Fingers and I could probably wear it every day when it's cool out. But this one is like a little bit, like this one could be work appropriate. I don't think I'd wear Sticky Fingers to work, um, but this one, you can kind of wear this anywhere when it's cooler out. So I just, I think it's gorgeous. And I got a pretty decent deal on this. It was around $55. Usually when I see this, it's like 70 or 80. So that wasn't too bad. And I'm happy to have this one. It's Bottega Veneta Eau de Parfum. And I made a Bath and Body Works order because I wanted to get coconut candy apple. This one is really pretty. It's very coconutty. Um, it's like a beautiful fall coconut. So I really wanted to get this one. It's got candied red apple, shredded coconut and vanilla spice. So this is really nice. So I really like this. The combination of coconut and apple, I think is really beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this one. I'm probably not gonna wait till fall to break this out. I think this is fine for right now too. So I just love it. So that's coconut candy apple from Bath and Body Works. And in that same order, I also picked up Pink Velvet Cupcake, which is another pretty sweet gourmand, which I just love these kind of fragrances. And I've certainly had red velvet cupcakes, but I've never had a pink velvet cupcake, but I'm guessing it's fairly similar. It's so, it's so pretty. So this one has sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow and sugared praline. So that's quite beautiful. And I also picked up gingham for one of my daughters because she loves it. So she's almost out. So I picked up the um, the body cream and the fragrance mist for my daughter in gingham. And this is the new body cream from Bath & Body Works. So it's called Ultimate Hydration Body Cream with Hyaluronic Acid 24 Hour Moisture. So they've changed the formula of these body creams. So I was really kind of curious to check these out. So I did get, like I said, two of them and I'm looking forward to giving these a try. And then the last two things in this haul I am the most excited about. They are both from a couple of my favorite indie niche houses. And the first one is from Anima Vinci. And this is Jasmine Yang. And they had a sale on the Anima Vinci website on a couple of the fragrances. It was this one and another one that they had a really good deal on. So I couldn't resist getting this because I love a good Jasmine fragrance and I love Anima Vinci. I've got Tudo Azul. It's one of my favorites for the summer. This one is beautiful. This is gorgeous. I love it. It, it reminds me slightly of Maison Lancome's Jasmine Marzipan, but this is much more pure floral. The Jasmine Marzipan does have a slight, slight gourmand to it with the almond, but this one is just oh, beautiful florals. Um, it's summery. It's like Mm, it's gorgeous. So I'm really excited to have this Jasmine Yang in my collection now. Um, the other one I want from this house is called Sesame Chan. That one is gorgeous too. And I love Anima Vinci. I've done a whole video reviewing the Discovery set. And I've also included them in my 
favorite indie niche houses, TikTok and Instagram, which you can find on those platforms. But this is beautiful. It's like, it's bright, it's sweet, it's floral. It's just fabulous. So Jasmine Yang from Anima Vinci. Finally, I picked up Slow Dive from Hiram Green and I love this so much. This is Honeyed Fruits. It's a gorgeous fall fragrance. I don't think this is a safe blind buy because this is a very deep animalic honey with the beeswax note. And so it reminds me a bit of Zoologist Bee. It's got that kind of vibe. So it's a very beautiful, animalic, deep, rich honey. This is gonna be so gorgeous in fall. And I really love Hiram Green. And I'm so excited to have this in my collection now. And I can't wait to break this out in fall. So this is Slow Dive from Hiram Green. So that concludes my fragrance haul for today. I, I would love to hear down in comments, what have you hauled recently? What are you loving now? And what are you looking forward to breaking out in the fall? Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.